Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be trying out something that completely intrigued me over on Instagram. I actually saw Rosen Ben over on Instagram, which I will have her Instagram down below. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who she is, but she posted a video on a baked foundation and it intrigued me so quickly. It looked beautiful. She seemed to really enjoy it. I immediately bought this baked foundation and I thought it'd be kind of fun to sit down and see what the hype was all about. I actually am not that familiar with this brand at all. So the foundation that I bought is from Laura Geller. We all are probably familiar with Laura Geller from this right here, the baked highlighter in the shade Gilded Honey, which I honestly don't get very much use out of because it's slightly too deep for me. But that's the only Laura Geller product that I've ever purchased. So I'm excited about this. I'm gonna be trying out this Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation. On the side of it, it says, I call this smart makeup because it adjusts to your skin perfectly each and every time. Um, apparently this is supposed to balance your skin tone and brighten. It's a foundation that is supposed to naturally match to your skin tone. I mean, there are different shades. I picked up the shade Fair, um, but it's baked for 24 hours on terracotta tiles and hand finished in Italy. It's supposed to be weightless. Um, it's supposed to apply with the ease of a powder, but have the benefits of a cream. So I bought this. I also picked up two other things because I was kind of intrigued by this whole baked makeup type of thing. I've always really enjoyed baked products. So I wanted to just test these out. So I picked up the baked um, bronze and brighten bronzer and then the baked blush and brighten blush. So we'll get to that as well. But first we're gonna try this out right here. I'm very intrigued. I just washed my face. I put on my basic moisturizer and then some sunscreen. So my skin is a little tacky. I tried to let my skin uh, products sink in a little bit before trying this, but that's basically as set as it's gonna feel. So that's all I have underneath. Here is what the packaging looks like. So again, this is the shade Fair. I think it's beautiful. Look at that marbling in there. It almost looks like the planet Jupiter, doesn't it? I think it's so pretty. I'm really excited about this. Um, I grabbed a clean brush from my freshly washed brushes. This is the ColourPop F20. It feels like a dense yet fluffy brush. Um, I think that they make a brush that goes with this, but I didn't try it. So let's just go ahead and try this out. I don't know if there's a certain way you're supposed to apply this or not, but I'm just basically gonna swirl my brush into this. Oh, whoa. Okay, it picked up more than I thought it would. So it's obviously like a pretty smooth powder because it didn't require much pressure at all to pick up quite a bit. I hope this shade works for me because I realized that the Rose and Ben video that I watched, she actually picked up this same exact shade. It's supposed to color match though, and so I'm hoping it will work. I hope it's not too dark. Okay, I've already started to apply that. I don't know if I should buff or tap. In the Rose and Ben video, she actually just kind of tapped it on, so maybe that's what I will start doing. We're just gonna do one side of the face at a time. I can see that it's canceling things out though, can't you? I definitely think that it is starting to kind of cancel out my redness, but it still looks like my skin. So I'm just gonna keep building this up. I've always been a fan of powder foundations. I've loved the Bare Minerals Original Foundation for so many years, but I don't know if I've ever really tried a baked foundation. I mean, I love the Makeup Forever Powder Foundation as well, but that's a completely different formula than this. I'm taking this underneath the eyes too to kind of brighten that up. Okay, now that there's a bit of product on, I do feel like it would be okay to kind of start buffing a little bit of this into the skin. Okay, this looks very, very natural. I will say it's not completely covering like my larger red blemish, but it totally evened out the skin tone on my cheeks, which you can see over here how it typically looks. It definitely evened that out, smoothed it out, but it didn't like conceal it so much to where it doesn't look like my skin anymore. I think that's pretty. It doesn't have like a certain finish to it either. Like it's not too luminous. It's not super matte. I think it's kind of a satin if I were to describe it. I think the shade works. I think it's maybe a tiny bit deep, but honestly, since the skin kind of shows through still, I don't think it looks unnatural. What do you guys think? Do you see a difference? It's kind of interesting, huh? I definitely see a more smoothed, perfected version of my natural skin. That's kind of what it's putting off. And it also really kind of smoothed over the pores right here too. I think it looks nice. I'm super interested to see how this wears too. So get one last look at the before and the after. We're gonna go ahead and start using this to kind of cover up the blemishes on the cheeks. See, it definitely does. Like it definitely color corrects and cancels out that stark redness that I personally have on my cheeks. 
which I really like. So I'm just gonna keep building this up until we have the same amount of product on each side of the face. I'm making sure to kind of press a little bit more on the nose to try to get some coverage there. You can really build up the coverage. I definitely think that it gives off a little less coverage than say a Bare Minerals Original Foundation off the bat. Because it is baked, you're gonna have that super finely milled formula, which is nice. I feel like it's pretty foolproof. And I definitely think I was able to build up the coverage that I want. It's not a full, full coverage, even if I've built it up quite a bit, but I don't think I would want a super full coverage with a formula like this. So it's exactly where I would be happy with it. Like I'd be happy leaving the house with this amount of coverage. It, definitely covered up my redness and even things out enough to the point where I feel confident in the way that my skin looks. I'm just putting some on the eyelid as well since I'm not gonna wear concealer actually. I'm just gonna layer up a little more underneath the eyes. I actually think that looks really, really natural and really pretty. What do you guys think? I'm already really happy that I picked this up. Obviously we're gonna have to wear it, but the thing I'm so impressed by is how it doesn't look powdery on the skin at all. It gave just the right amount of coverage and almost could pass as my natural skin. That's something that I actually really love about powder foundations. And people who are not familiar with powder foundations are actually the most scared about this. Sometimes with powder foundations, of course it depends on the formula, depends on how much you apply, but usually for me, a powder foundation looks more natural than a liquid foundation because of the finish. A liquid foundation, it kind of alters the finish of your natural skin, so you have to kind of use a loose powder on top and it just can look like a lot is sitting on your skin if you're not doing it right, where a powder foundation usually melts into the skin a little easier and has a little bit more of a natural look to it, which is kind of ironic. You would almost expect something opposite from a powder foundation. But this one specifically has a beautiful, very natural effect on the skin. Oh, I really like this. It blurs, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't look heavy, and I layered up quite a bit to get the coverage that I want. Hmm, I don't know, I'm really happy that I picked this up. Let's go ahead and warm things up with the Laura Geller Baked Bronze and Brighten Multi-Purpose Bronzer. I picked this up in the shade Fair as well. Looks like it's the same packaging as the foundation, but of course inside we've got this beautiful swirly baked bronzer. How pretty is that, honestly? I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna take this on a clean It Cosmetics brush. I'm just gonna kind of dip that in, tap off the excess, and I don't wanna go too overboard with this. I'm hoping it's not too pigmented, kind of like the um, foundation where I can hopefully build it up. It looks like it's definitely going on very, very naturally. So I'm just picking up little amounts at a time and kind of pressing that into the skin. The thing that's nice about powder foundations too is you can go straight into your other powder products and you don't have to worry about it skipping because unlike a liquid, you know, if you don't set the entire face, you risk a little bit of skipping if you use a powder product on top. Where this kind of cuts things down time-wise in half, I think that looks very nice and natural as well. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this down the neck. Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with the brush we used for the foundation, and I'm just gonna sweep that across. I didn't add any more product to it. I just wanna make sure the edges of the bronzer are nice and blended out. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this is a really nice looking foundation. It's so different than anything that I have. This was such an impulse purchase for me, but I'm actually really glad that I picked it up so far. Obviously, we're gonna wear it throughout the night and see how things hold up, but so far so good. All right, let's try out the Baked Blush and Brighten Marbleized Blush. I feel like Laura Geller is a brand that I don't see too many people talking about here on YouTube. And maybe it should be talked about more, you know? I wonder how many other brands there are out there that deserve a little more attention. So far so good on all these products, I'm really excited. So again, this is the um, Baked Blush and Brighten Marbleized Blush. I chose the shade Ethereal Rose, which was one of their lighter colors, but I thought it would be so pretty um, to like pop on the cheeks for every day especially. So this looks specifically pretty luminous compared to the bronzer. The bronzer did have some luminous bits in it, but this is like a little more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smile and apply this to the apples of the cheeks. Same thing on this side. Okay, so immediately I'm noticing this is much more of a highlighter for me than it is an actual blush. I feel like this also kind of emphasized um, the pores right here a little bit more than I would have liked it to. I should have probably gone with a deeper shade, but I wanted to try out this shade. It's definitely really pretty, but I think I would honestly use it more as a highlight, like I was saying. I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of press that down to kind of melt it into the skin a little more. And then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the Balance and Brighten foundation. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of sweep that right here. So yeah, it gave a little bit of color. It's not 
super blushy. This shade isn't anyway, in my opinion. I would definitely use it more as a blush topper, if anything. Um, you guys probably know me and you know that I love a good wow factor with the blush. So I am gonna layer up a little bit more of another blush. I've been wanting to use this one again. This is the Pat McGrath one that I recently bought in the shade, um, what is this shade? Flirtatious, that's right. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. It's a very natural color. It's a little bit more on the matte side. And I'm gonna smile and apply that to the apples of the cheeks, just right over the blush we just applied. But I still really love that sheen that that blush gave. Okay, let's just quickly finish up the look. I'm gonna fill in my brows. I've been using this brow pencil quite a bit, the Huda Beauty one. I just like how teeny tiny the applicator is. I forgot to mention, I don't think any of these Laura Geller products are new by any means. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know if it's new or not. It doesn't look like it is. But I think that's kind of fun because I feel like most of my videos, um, as far as products go, like new products, are usually pretty new to the market as well. It's not always just new to me. So I think that's kind of fun about this review. It's something that has existed for a while. Okay, for the eyes, I'm just gonna go into the bronzer and kind of throw this on the eyes really quick. I don't need too much on the eyes. I just want it to kind of tie in the tones. Same thing over on this eye. I'm taking that underneath the lower lash line too. And then I'm actually gonna try out the blush on the eyelids. Since it is so much more luminous than I was anticipating, I'm gonna go ahead and use it as like an eyeshadow. Yeah, see, you can see it's very, very luminous. Definitely something that I would, again, use as a highlighter over a blush, at least this color. Just gives the eyes a nice natural sheen. Okay, I'm just gonna align the water lines really quick with my KKW Beauty um, nude eyeliner. Okay, and after that's done, I'm gonna just apply mascara. I'm gonna use my Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'm just gonna pop this on the top and bottom lashes really quick. Okay, now that mascara's on, I'm just gonna wipe away any foundation that got on the lips. Let's do a fun pink lip. I wanna use my Tower 28 Shine On Lip Jelly in the shade Coconut. And I don't really use a lip liner with this usually. Not for everyday looks anyway. I think it tints the lips perfectly. I love this color too. Okay, let's step back and assess the situation. I definitely want a little bit more bronzer. Just kinda at the back of the cheeks to sculpt that out a little bit more. Adding what's left on the brush to the forehead and then along the jawline a little bit too. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I really like how everything looks. Um, I'm not gonna do a setting spray because I do wanna see how everything wears. So I'm just gonna go straight into my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter just to make sure my brows are locked in place. Okay, so that completes this look. We're gonna go ahead and wear this for the rest of the night. I'm definitely very impressed at how effortlessly put together I feel. I feel like that didn't take that long at all. Um, I'm mostly excited about the foundation for sure. I feel like it just made my skin look like skin. It feels like I'm not wearing any makeup. And I layered this up quite a bit to get the coverage that I wanted to cover up the redness on my cheeks as much as I wanted it to. So very, very excited about this product specifically. Can't wait to see how it wears. I think the bronzer also added to that kind of natural, glowy, effortlessly polished kind of a finish. The only thing that I'm iffy about is the blush at this moment because it's just a little bit too light for my liking, but this was like the lightest shade. It was totally my fault for picking something a little bit light. However, I really like how it looks as a highlighter, so I could see myself possibly reaching for this as a blush topper or highlighter. So we're gonna go ahead and wear this for the rest of the night. I am filming this a little bit later in the day. So it's currently 4.20 p.m. I usually stay up pretty late, so I'm gonna wear this for as long as possible so we can get a really good idea for how it wears. Typically, powder foundations wear really well on me. I like how they wear throughout the day. Um, we'll have to see though. This has a pretty luminous finish, so I'm interested to see how dewy I look by the end of the day. Maybe it will just balance everything out. We'll see. I'm loving how my complexion looks though, honestly. It looks very, very natural. Even in my far away mirror right here, like my bigger mirror, I love the overall luminosity that this gives. It feels like a very simplified version of a more intense routine because if I were to try to achieve this look without a powder foundation, I would use a liquid foundation, a concealer, a setting powder, probably some sort of luminous finishing powder, and then I would get this end result. This looks so pretty. Am I crazy or does this look so pretty on the skin? Obviously a wear test really matters in this situation, so let's go ahead and see how this wears for the rest of the night, but I have high hopes based off my first impressions. So I'll see you guys in a little bit for my first check-in. Okay, so I normally try to do my first 
check in right after filming. This is technically like an hour into wearing this, but I wanted to do a check in like earlier on in the day just so I can show you guys how it looks. I actually really like how natural this looks. In natural light especially, it still does not look too heavy in my opinion. Um, I didn't even wear concealer, so it really looks pretty fresh. It doesn't look too heavy again underneath the eyes even. So yeah, really liking the glow so far. I'm interested to see how it wears, if it creases at all or anything like that. It's a very different formula. So I don't really have anything in my personal collection to compare it to. So I'm really excited. Let's see how it wears for the rest of the night. I will let you guys know my thoughts at the end of the night um, as far as how I feel about it. But so far, so good in the first hour. I'm loving it. All right, you guys, so I'm back. It's currently 11 p.m. So honestly, I forgot what time I started this wear test. It was like four something, maybe around five. So I've been wearing this for a little over six hours at least. And honestly, you guys, I really, really love how it has held up so far throughout the day. I was actually outside for a couple of hours tonight and I think it really stayed pretty balanced. Like it obviously has that glow, which was a given because it had a little bit of a glow when I first applied it, but it's really held up nicely. I feel like it hasn't really settled in my fine lines either. There's a little bit of settling, but honestly, very minimal compared to what normally happens with a liquid foundation. The coverage is still there. It didn't budge around my forehead. It looks very, very lightweight and still feels very lightweight on the skin. So if you can't tell, I'm very excited about this baked foundation. It surprised me actually, and I don't have anything quite like it. The only other thing that I noticed once I went upstairs and kind of saw myself in natural light, I do feel like when I applied this on top of like my moisturizer and sunscreen, it kind of darkened the shade a little bit, like it looks lighter in the pan than how it applied to the skin. So I do feel like I could actually get away with a little bit of a lighter shade. It did look slightly dark um, in natural light upstairs, but not like a deal breaker, not anything too, too crazy. I just wanted to point that out. The bronzer I felt like was really pretty. It definitely added to this overall glow and the blush, again, I don't think I would use it as a blush, but I love how it looks on the high points of the face, kind of more as a highlighter. But I would say I am the most excited about the baked foundation. I'm excited to rewear it. My husband was looking at my skin too and he said it looked really nice. I always like when my husband likes my foundation and he's usually pretty honest when it comes to foundations and he usually prefers when a foundation kind of looks really natural and healthy like this one. So yeah, I'm glad that I bought this, you guys. It was kind of fun for me to try something that wasn't a brand new launch and still something that adds to my collection. It just, honestly, there's so much to discover in the makeup world, it's kind of crazy. I did wanna point out though, I felt like my pores were a little emphasized here. I think looking back though, it was probably a mixture of this blush that I applied there. And then when I tried to blend out a little bit more of this in the T-zone, I think I got a little carried away and applied a little too much. So it became more luminous in this area here. Honestly, it's not a deal breaker though. And I could probably just take my fingers and tap that out a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that totally worked. I feel like that just kind of picks up the excess oil. So I literally wouldn't even have to use a brush or anything, which is nice to know. Like if I was out and about and I just felt like I needed a little bit of a refresh, I could literally just kind of press my fingers and pick up that excess oil and it's almost as good as new. I really like this, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I would love to know if any of you have tried this before in the past. What did you think about it? How did you think it looked on me? I would love to hear your feedback as well. I do think I'm gonna actually go pick up the lighter shade in this, because I do think that I would get quite a bit of use out of this, especially for every day. That's kind of what I'm feeling with this specific product. Is something that's gonna be quick and easy and effortless for every day, not too heavy at all, really fuss free. I didn't even wear concealer and it didn't bother me at all. I mean, you can still see like some of my darker circles under my eyes, but for that everyday natural look, I don't care if it's all flawless. So I'm really happy about this. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. That's it for me today. I hope you guys have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.